facility. That's why they got kicked. The other three are out till 2024. They're out the whole year. They're released from the team. Oh, my God. The line staff also have people been released from the staff. Uh, their guys bet on NFL games. NFL games. It seems silly to me, uh, especially I, the, the for Williams and Barry Hill. I don't bet on a college. Well, I, like we said, okay, we understand that they don't want them betting on NFL because they don't want a big scandal. You know, well, so and so threw the game, or they cheating. They're cheating to win bets. Okay, we get that. But why are you suspending players for betting on college games? And the rules are why is because. They're in the facility. They're, that was the only reason. What does that matter? Had they been home and done it, they would be still be or out in the, or on the road, hundred yard, hundred hundred yards across the road what? in a restaurant across the road. Yeah. They so let's it. go over here to Wild Wings and I can bet on. I can't do it here. I'll get in trouble. What? Guys, NFL players, you cannot bet on the NFL. Period. And period. we thought that after Ridley's big deal and after all the stuff that happened that went down there, that people would be paying attention to what's going on. Obviously, they're not. They're grown men, guys. How do you not learn your lesson? You don't can't do it. Bet don't bet on it. Don't bet on it. We don't agree with it. I think it's too strict. I can see them the reprimanding them. Maybe Okay, here's a couple of games. No, why at all? Who cares? If well, you're betting on your team. Yeah. Okay, don't bet on your team. Or the team on, you're going to play. I agree with that. You can't bet on You can't bet on your game. Or let's say. Or you can't bet on. I guess they think that it might leak over. Let's say <coughs> Najee Harris bets on the. Cleveland, Houston game, and he calls somebody he knows from Cleveland and tells them. I, well, right, let's look is that it. possible? Let's do a scenario. Y'all think about this with me. Uh, Anderson, and um, who else was on there? I just seen. Uh, thought I seen old by, by, by Cuspid. He was. Yes, Jeff. What's up? Uh, two great Jeffs. We're glad we got two great Jeffs on here. Jeffs and the Hot Wheels. Everybody, let's check this out. I say um, you play Falcons. Right. You can't bet on any NFC South teams. Because that could be a, have an effect. Could. Or if you want to be by tracing, you should say you can't bet on any NFC teams at all. You have to bet for AFC. I'm, I'm just trying to think of something. Good gracious. I can man, understand wrong. where they're coming from, but let's just be for real, man. What's going to happen? Okay, you for Pittsburgh, I play for Detroit. I make a bet and I say, Matt, make sure you have a couple of incompletions in the fourth quarter. Cause I got you going 21 for 28, not 21 for 26. Well, that'd be fine because they're the NFC, AFC. They're different. Detroit and Pittsburgh are, you know, they're both yeah. in the north, but they're AFC, NFC. But that's what they're afraid is going to happen. But what's the point in making, here's the, the thing. Back in the day, this started in 1960. It's in that little article. And I'm sorry, guys, if the feed is jumping or, or, or lagging. I apologize. There's nothing I can do. For some reason, every Sunday for the past two weeks, stupid Spectrum has decided to, I don't know, it just drags. Mm -hmm. It's doing it now. I have no idea, and I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Right here, I got a white cord. I'll hold it up. This white cord is hard-lined straight to the modem. I'm not on Wi-Fi. But uh, why, you know, well, they're not going, what I'm saying is back in the day, you could make money and make a living at doing this. Yes. They make millions now. Okay. So if you win a $5,000 bet from a Packers game. So what? So, okay, my question to you. Who cares? And you know, I already know that. Do you really think these players are going to sell information to win bets? What's the game? That's what I'm saying. Boom! I won a thousand dollars. You make a thousand dollars an hour. Yes. So you're saying it don't matter if they do sell the information. What's the point? Why would they do that? What's the point? Gambling at all costs, really. Yeah. They're not doing it for money. They're doing it for fun. Competition. Well, maybe they should make. If you're in the you pass the number on your phone. You know, different leagues, not real money. Mm -hmm. It's just some coins or something, some internet ones. I just don't think it's a big deal. And you can swap coins. Like you win these coins, and you can't cash out for cash. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there's no ill rotten game from it. Right. If you cash out in the season, you're you're the winner of all the league, and, and you win like you have the most coins. And I don't know, you win a shirt from DraftKings for being the NFL top gambler. Well, they, no, no money, you just win a t-shirt. Well, they like winning the money, but I don't. Well, I'm I, like you. I don't need it. What do you do with it? They drink five thousand dollar bottles of champagne every night. Yeah. They eat hundred dollar wagyu steaks. What does, and drop a hat. What does Jamison Williams? He makes 
Three million a year at least, right? Yeah, five, ten. Two million 20. a game. He was a late first round pick guy. Maybe more. Yeah. So you're saying it, and what did Ridley got suspended for betting eleven grand? Eleven. He makes that much. Yeah. A day. Yeah. A day. So in the off season. <laughs> so what we're saying is they're only doing this for fun. But the fear is that they're going to sell information and get in with other players and throw ball <laughs> games and cheat. Do you think that will happen? Well, I guess it could. I, I mean, don't think it will, though. I mean, you know, I'm just to be devil's advocate like I do, I guess. But, but I see what you're why saying. Not? Why would you? Because they're making more than that just playing. Why would you throw a ball game to make 5000 when you made 5000 in the first quarter? Yes. Why? What's the, what's the deal? Maybe the first... The minute you took the kickoff. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy money. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, I don't... What do you, but now, as far as the other sports... Let them bet. It, it, it's it, not even an illegal activity, is it? I mean, in some states it is, I no, guess. And, that, and I think that's some of the problem, too. It depends on where you're at and where how you're states at. do it. Because NHL and NBA, uh-huh. when you're in the building, mm-hmm. they have a booth, a DraftKings, hashtag DraftKings. Shout out to you guys. We'd love to be a sponsor. If you want sponsors, that'd be great. Yeah. They have, bo- they have booth. Uh-huh. Hey, I want to go. Hey, I want to bet on this right Bet here, there you go. There's my ticket. Here's my credit card. You can bet right in, during the games, right at the stadiums, at the NBA stadiums. A lot of them have play. You get your hair cut during the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have, oh, I'm saying they have Clippers at the Lakers. Y'all go look at it. It's, it's awesome. It's great. Clothes booth, haircut, DraftKings, candy food. I do understand it, but I don't understand the suspensions for you being missing. Something. They're off the. T- yeah. They just lost a year's salary. Well, see, Ridley never played for the Falcons again. Now he's going to the Jets. No, the Jaguars. Uh, well, I mean, next, are they going to tell us we can't bet? Yeah, you're 